I want to see what you guys could uh, do with a Walter Payton signed football. It does have his number and it has his nickname, Sweetness. Super Bowl 31, he wasn't in that. You're right. Not exactly sure why he signed this ball. And that's one of the reasons that I'm trying to uh, see what I can get for it. Super Bowl 31 was won by the Green Bay Packers. And <laughs> as a Chicago Bears fan, there's no way in good conscience I could keep this in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I am a huge Bears fan, lifelong. Similar balls have gone for $4,000. This is a little bit of a different situation, it being Super Bowl 31. He wasn't in that Super Bowl, but the Packers won. And everybody knows that Bears fans and Packers fans do not get along. So where'd you get it? My mom recently moved out of her house, and uh, in the course of packing her up, I found this ball. OK, um, so was your mom a Walter Payton fan, or? I asked her about it, and she doesn't seem to remember exactly where she got it, but she remembers bidding on some sports memorabilia at a charity auction several years ago. OK, I mean, this is really cool, man. I mean, Walter Payton, he's one of the best running backs of all time. Most would say the greatest running back of all time. I prefer LaDamian Tomlinson myself, but that's just because I'm a Charger fan. <laughs> but <laughs> but understandable, no. understandable. Why don't we take it out? No, go right ahead. You know, this ball's cool. The one from Super Bowl 20 would be cool. The one that would be absolutely priceless is his last game of the Bears. He rushed for 100 yards, his last touchdown. He took the ball, threw it out in the crowd, and no one knows what happened to it. Somebody's got it. That one would be worth a lot of money. Yeah, I bet. No one could argue that Walter Payton was one of the best to ever play the game. He got two MVPs, a Super Bowl, and close to, what, 17,000 rushing yards? But this ball commemorates a game he didn't even play in, so that knocks the value down quite a bit. How much are you looking to get out of well, it? Well, this type of ball, I've done a little bit of research. I'd be willing to part with this one for about 2,500. 2,500. You're pretty much on it, right, what it's worth. If I were to sell it, that's what I'd get out of it. But I'm in a business here, and I don't buy stuff to break even. I'd like to give you around 1,000 bucks for it. Even I wouldn't get rid of it for $1,000, even though it's a Packers ball. I'm thinking more along the lines of, let's say, 21. I'll go up to 1,500. That's the most I can do. It really is. I, I still think it's worth more than that. But as a diehard Bears fan, I can't have this in my house. I'll take the 1,500. 1,500 is the deal. All right. All right, I'll meet you over there, all right? I would have liked to have gotten a little bit more, but I'm going to go to the casino tonight, go to the roulette table, and put it all on Walter Payton's number 34.